Hey guys, hope you're all doing very well. Welcome back to another two minute update on Bitcoin. So here we are on the daily time frame. A very quick update based on what we've been saying recently. We've been obviously this year, we've been talking about price coming down to this 24K mark, okay, or 35K. Now we've tagged 35K as we anticipated. We expect some kind of response at this level. The question was, was it going to be a dead cap bounce? A nice three wavish corrective move or was it going to turn into an impulse i spoke in the last video how it was shaping up to be a three wavish move up to here we failed to take out the year open at 46k an obvious very significant heavy overhead resistance that has managed to pin us down and now we're just following this smaller pitch foot to the downside as you can see it's holding the price to the downside no major break above the upper median line here uh, a much better pitch fork demonstrated here on ethereum as you can see we failed to leave the upper warning line here back to bitcoin so as i say 35k was a significant level next level is 24k a little reminder on that is because 24k is where our weekly camarilla pivot s4 sits the s3 was here at 35k which has already been tested you can see looking back how significant these levels have been on top of that we do also have the major bitcoin futures gap also at 24k and on a macroscopic Elliott wave perspective, it makes a large WXY. So three down, three up, uh, three down to here to make a WXY. Of course, this is the bullish scenario. This is the most bullish scenario that I can see. Uh, obviously, it can break 24K and come down lower as we could be in a much larger bear market. However, I'll be certainly looking to see how price responds at 24K, but I see price going from here to 24K at least. This is the trade at play that I see for now. Okay, so another bit of a reminder of 35K, why it was significant. We also had the monthly range here. So we had a series of green candles here on the monthly time frame. The start of the range was here at the open of this red candle. And the close of this red candle marked out the range. You can see very nicely it marked 35K on the monthly range. So it was a very significant level. I mentioned in the last video how I see this just being a three way which move up. There was a smaller pitchfork holding the price action, which has now broken to the downside, telling us that that trend has finished. I, went very, um, I think very soon we're going to see a break of 35k to the downside. You can see if we pull up the camera pivots on the four hourly time frame, let's just take off the other annotations. You can see how nicely these S3s and R3s are all getting tagged quite nicely. R4 resistance, S4 temporary support broke down to S3 support. I think we're going to break the S3 and head to the S4 this week very, very soon, in my opinion. But um, yeah, just to summarize, uh, definitely looking like a dead cat bounce here. As I say, the downtrend is still holding very nicely. It looks like we're on course for 24K. The, the trend is also very well demonstrated on Ethereum. So that pretty much wraps it up for this uh, video. Of course, if you do want a, uh, more educational material, I am doing a current uh, deal on my full educational course. You'll see the link to that in the top right of this video uh, where you can get 50% discount. Uh, the link is also in the description to the video. Um, yeah, so check that out if interested. All right, guys, take care.